So he made. Uh, I'm not kidding. Fer King Farrell. King, yeah, Sam knows what that card is. I'm sure he used that before in his decks. Oh, King whoa. Farrell. <laughs> King Farrell lives. Searches a. Uh, Play insect? gears, not gadgets. Insect, right? Uh, reptile, I think. Why did you use that? And did you ever use that in your gear no, deck? No. No? You just know what it does? No. King, Fer King of the Feral Imps. And what does it search? I think it searches reptile. a reptile. Okay. Level 4 reptile. So reptile. So that's interesting. All right. Night Beam. Bang. That was a good one. So he's got Scout. I see another one of those Snatch Steals in his hand. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Snatch Steal is just like... No joke. Can't get away from it. Ooh, he can snatch steel and search a reptile. Ooh. Talk about a power play. So he's got scouts. So what does he have in his hand? He's got art, summoner's art, a monster. So what is the monster, though? It needs to be something in particular. Mm, see what he can't can tell. That's a really good start against this deck because this deck needs to turn to, you know, get settled, get everything going. <laughs> Billy Luna running to his table. <laughs> Believe the round started. There might be a way where he can kill him. I mean, obviously, depending on what his back row is. He's got bottomless. Not a good card. Again. Well, it's interesting about this, right? As you said, uh, Rosti's been playing Quillhorps for a while, right? Right, right, right. Are you attributed? So that should give Rossi a little bit of an edge for the uh, the long term, but we'll see if he can even do anything about this one. Pretty uh, straightforward. I feel like he there. got him there. He just like tribute my guy, right? That doesn't really matter. I'm trying to figure out this Guillermo. I feel like he had a better play. Like he ended up with not much. 21, 21. That guy's attack is what, 23? Well, that must be what's going on right now. Just staring at the board and wondering how did this happen. I feel okay. like I should have gotten further ahead. Oh, no, this is just... Something is doesn't feel right to me. So is that the uh, bottomless that he had in his hand? Yes, which is not so hot against this deck. So draw. So he's got Kago Takaga. I'm interested to see what that card can do. Oh, I got Snatch Shield and Tribute. So he's taking 24. Uh, it's well, he can. You don't know what that one does. That one does. I know you can like reveal it when you summon a monster, right? Right. Yeah. Exactly. So can you summon Altair? So I haven't seen anything interesting with that card yet. Can he reveal it now? Uh, I'm not when it's sure. Normal summon. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure with the uh, the chain linkings if he would be able to. Okay. It's been a minute. Yeah, Mirror Force or Deep Prison would have hurt him bad there. That's true. But again, he's using like Kage to Kage, so finding room for that stuff. That's a card I feel like you can just take out of your deck. But still, regardless, that's a card that would, you know, hurt him pretty bad. I'm interested to see, does anybody know why he's using Kage to Kage? He's known for using weird cards. He was the first one to use Magical Hats, right, in his Clifford deck? Magical hat, Sam. So what was the logic on that one? Um, I'm pretty sure you would get two sacrifices from your deck, right? And then they would die, and you just get two searches for no reason. Hmm. Which is not bad. It's not bad. Interesting. Again, Kage to Kage is interesting, too. 31, 27, 27, yep. 85. Yeah, there was a way he could win, right? Saw Mirror Force last feature. We did see Mirror Force last feature. Good thinking, Bowden. <laughs> yeah, really. The whole tournament has sort of been a time machine. Yeah. Oh, we saw this guy last round. But yeah, maybe going for game. Highlight of that is the uh, snatch steel we've seen every round. Yeah, snatch steel is just popping up. Oh, we got a we got a creeper. They can see that, right? <laughs> that creeper just chilling. Behind uh. That's a photo Rusty. bomb right there. They see what you see. All right, good. Cause I see a creeper. <laughs> Oh, he's going in. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> that was rather lackluster. 
I'm interested. Does anybody has anybody told me why he uses Kageto Kage? Uh, I, I think that's what this was about. I think oh, really? Maybe, um, maybe not. But yeah, it could just be about giving it some more aggression and being able to put some more damage out there. Yeah. Give you another monster. If you go like, I'm sure there's something with like Vega, Altair, Deneb, where you can have four monsters for two rank fours. Max here says it lets him make Delta Rose faster. Really? Which lets him make Diamond faster. That's cool. So it's a huge meta call. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. What's its attack? Does it just come out in defense mode? I think so. Okay. I think it's like a thousand attack, if, if anything. I don't even know. Okay. Yeah, I think he's kind of a wimp. He's just there for uh, Xyz fodder. Yeah. And you would have to think when we get to the siding portion, that's probably a card that comes out pretty often because it seems like we've seen Xyz universe in a lot of the side decks. Mm -hmm. That's one of those cards that's like come in and out of play in side decks quite a bit. Yeah. Like I remember when it came out, people were like, this card's going to be the next nuts side card. All right, so we see uh, Frosty play one, Rhoda. Not three. <laughs> not three. <laughs> okay, not three. Not there two, we go. but one. Boom. I want to see something cool now. Whatever. So Altair, chain link one, reveal Kage to Kage, chain link two. So Kage to Kage hits the board, which brings back Vega. Kieran was like, yeah, what's happening? I want to see. <laughs> How's this work? I'd be like reading that guy. Be like, what did this card come out of? I, I feel like Rossi's explaining why he plays it to him. And oh, he's just going in. Is that a Deneb? Or Ukulele? Unikolai. That's just two rank fours. Rank four with another body. So it's all on the board right now. Yeah. I guess we're about to see, you know. Yep. I don't even know what comes out at this point. I wonder how many King of the Feral MC plays. That could be important. This is just a generic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Deltaros. Deltaros. I wonder if the back row is a sacrifice. If there's one person that knows how to play against Clifford, it's probably Rosty. Yeah. <laughs> He's popping the monster. Popping nope, the, the scout. The scout. That's smart. A thousand. Do we know what it is? Did it get booked or something? Yeah, it got booked. <sighs> Compulse. Oh crap. Okay, now it's all making sense. Yep. So there you go. There's uh, there's the value. From okay. That's cool. The Kagato cage. That's twenty five. Get you an extra monster. At least in that scenario, get you an extra monster. Mm -hmm. That was strong. That was really, <laughs> really strong. Robust, I would say. Robust, yeah. <laughs> you do a back row? This guy's got the third scout. Or just the second one. Regardless, he's the man. Because he's got scout, period. It's hard to draw. It's hard to draw that card. A late warning looks like he drew. Does that work? Oh man, he's gonna get the effect. Get back out there. This game's just done with. Neb. We haven't seen this all day. <laughs> wow. Shock. I think I'm a little off on life, so I think he's a little lower than 31. Okay, well he's out of Altair, so the train is now done with. Why did those cards not go back to the extra deck? Um, I don't, I don't know. He's scooping anyway, regardless. Yep. Next game. All right. That was cool. He played that game really well. That's the best game by far we've seen all day. That was a uh, skill-wise, skillful play by Rosty. Mm -hmm. Kudos to him. No, uh, no bias by air. me at all. So while they're side decking, I'm gonna play. A quick run of ads, and we'll be right back with game two in like a minute.
So the main feature, I guess, sorry, the main feature got uh, selected for a deck check, so we're moving over to the secondary feature. I'm sorry, the the play mats are slanted, the camera's a little messed up because people keep bumping it. Uh, I'll work to fix that after the round. The only thing I really know about this match uh, is the player on the right, his name is Justin Duran. Uh, he topped this event last time we were here. He finished top four at YCS Dallas, so he's a local guy. And he really only plays at local YCS, and, uh, but he does well. He, you know, talked up. Oh, wow, shocker! Snatch deal again. <laughs> card is just. I'm done with giant. that card already. Like it was fun while it lasted, but I'm done. I felt that way. Like when BLS first came back, I was like, "This is so awesome." BLS came I back. I still kind of feel like that with BLS. Then I kept losing to it. I, I keep, like, I keep losing because I have it. I was like, "This is just not fun." I don't like it's to just BLS. not another card that I want. Engineer. So what's under the engineer? A Farfa? Uh, I think it's Farfa. That's okay. like the combo people do. Yeah, it's cool now. It's like reactive way to play. Yep. Gives you like a little bit of a hand trap. Scarecrow? Yeah. Okay. Nothing new. Was that game? Well, you don't know. We're going to have to wait till next game to figure out life and stuff. It's kind of hard yeah. to just go in. Yeah. Uh, we definitely know he's above, what, 18 or whatever. Um, He's yeah, only he's, got two cards, He's above 1,800. He's got that. That's pretty good. Otherwise, he'd be able to use the Engineer to push that through. Yeah. Engineer makes it go to the fence, though, right? Right, and it would stop the Scarecrow because it never really declared the attack. Oh, okay. And then the other monster would be able to. Right. Too. Cool. So he's definitely above 18. Yeah. One would think, uh, true. <laughs> he could just be at 18. See, now he's just going to banish that uh, monster. But it'll just come back. But He should banish Yeah, banish the monster, not the tour guide. Yeah, leave that tour guide up. He's All he has is a spell in hand, so. Now, when the monster comes back off of Farfa, mm -hmm. will it... Be negated still by tour guide, or will it be just a normal? It doesn't normal monster? summon it back to the field. It places it back on the field. So okay. I think it would still be treated as its effect. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure though. I might be completely wrong. Still haven't gotten like a 100% sure. Yes, it will be affected. or It won't be affected. That's his own far too, too, right? Uh, um. The one that oh. just got sent. Yeah. Great, yeah. The the one on the field. <laughs> yeah. The 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 other one under the uh, engineers as Seer. opponents. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's neat. Was that from the snatch deal? Yeah. Okay. Of course, of course, it was from snatch deal. It's either snatch deal or enemy controller these days. <laughs> Some people extra deck uh, downer magician. Yeah. Just M sevens. All that cool stuff, Gaia Dragon. Yeah. I don't know what this guy's gonna do. What's in his? It's a one spell in his hand. I don't think he has. I think it was an enemy controller. Anything? Oh, okay. Don't exactly know what this gets him. Oh, sure. It's gonna crash. Can't die this turn. <laughs> Can it change his battle position? He can. Okay. He can change his battle position. But it, like, if he what's he gonna do? Like, I don't know what his plan is. He's I mean, the get other right guy will get a seer. Yeah. Crash. He can't die. <laughs> this is not good for your your guy here. Uh, Rossi received yeah, back. Can't do that. Deck, so it, can you do that? That makes it main phase two. Can you do that? What do you do? Downer it over a rank three. Yeah. No, is that? Oh yeah, I'm I'm crazy. Oh, well, we're gonna go back. Well, I guess we have a little bit because they're shuffling. But Rosty and Guillermo have their decks back. Doesn't seem anything too altering of the game state. Good deck check. Okay. Yep. Got. Yep. Got. The okay from the assistant head judge. They still have to side deck too. I could think. be could be a second. Yeah, it could be a hot second.
Kind of an interesting dynamic under that downward magician, huh? Mm -hmm. It's his, uh, his own card under his opponent's <laughs> card under his card. So let's figure out who's who's. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> we'll want to uh, make sure his opponent gets his exceeds back. Oh, then we'll never know. <laughs> I'm just checking because I can't see it on here. Well, yeah, he got it back. Is it still the backup right now? Yeah, we're about to go back, yeah. Yeah, Rossi's got it. So we're back. Is he still? Oh, they're still side making. Okay, we'll just stay. <laughs> we'll stop confusing you. I assume they get a time ex extension. I started the clock when they made their first play, so don't go. So if anybody knows time. what the side deck against Clifford is, Rossi. That's for sure. Probably Fairy Wind. So I Fairy like, Wind, yes, Fairy Wind's good. I'm twister. a big fan of three Twister, three Fairy Wind. Just any combination of cards that destroy your opponent's back rows. Or not their back rows, sorry. Either. Earth Imprisoning Mirror. Yeah, if only. guy's going in over here. Yeah. He's saying put me on YouTube right now. Well, Basically, I guess he's yeah. He's being recorded for YouTube. So. <laughs> he's making his time Eventually. known. Making his presence known. What's Rasti up to? Talking? Judge Edgar. Rasti's a goofball. Rasti is a goofball. His age may be small, but his dueling network rank. How old is, is Rusty? High. He just turned 18 at uh, Orlando. Oh, he is young. What's his DN name? I don't know. He said he was rank one before Orlando. Really? Yeah, he just spammed Clifford games. No idea what his name is. He went is. undefeated in Swiss and got third, fourth. I know how I can do this. Mike Albanese, give me his DN name. I'm sure he knows. Is Mike a DN fiend? Mike or Tejas? Either one of you. This guy likes to talk, man. <laughs> I've shared hotel rooms with him. That yeah. is definitely true. Tiff 94. Tiff 94. Does ring a bell. I thought that was someone else's name. This guy drew all monsters. Oh, Lord. That is not good. Eh. He could just try and kill him. He could, yeah. Oh, go. <laughs> Talk about power. And now we're at the power level of like seven <laughs> compared to Dragon Ball Z. Where's your scouter? Nope, sir. Scout does not exist. That is the worst feeling when you draw all monsters and you don't draw scout. <laughs> scouter. I get it. Dragon Ball Z jokes. <laughs> I'm gonna see some Kage to Kage's, man. All right. So, what kind of read is Rusty probably making here? He probably knows exactly what's going on. Anybody with an expert? No, anybody knows what's going. on. He just has all monsters. All monsters is not fun when you're going first. Unless Maxi, okay, one or two that makes it scout. makes it interesting for Rusty. He can either keep going. Why didn't he not do that on the Vega? Did he do that on the Vega? I think so. I think he did it on the Altair, but he doesn't have anything in Grave. So how many cards does that guy have in his hand? We got he only has four. Oh, four? So yeah, he did yeah, it on the Vega. Did. Okay, yep. I just couldn't count. Uh, 20 minutes. All right, so the 19. Maxi gives him a plus. Max. Now Rossi looks a little Can irritated. You just put that next to them. <laughs> not quite as talkative. No. I'm not quite sure why. 
What's what's that guy's attack? Uh, who's attack? Sukiyomi. Bujin. Twenty five hundred. Twenty five. Oh wow, that card's really big. I didn't know it was so big. Discarded a couple cards. I'll look up the. Uh, uh, do you know its okay? effect? Uh, like if you have one or less cards in your hand, you can discard your entire hand. Or maybe it's like you can discard you can discard your whole entire hand, but except you have to have one card. Once per turn, you can send your entire hand to the graveyard. Minimum one, and if you do, draw two cards. Well, he's, he's eighteen hundred. Okay, I knew twenty five okay. was monstrous. When you this card you controlled. What's his defense? Twenty three. Okay, and he brought him out in attack mode. He's probably going to end up attacking. Dude, maybe he has honest. He's got to end up attacking. There's no reason not to. We well, he just drew two random cards. I think he's just going to pass. I don't know why he would not attack. Guillermo has a Book of Moon. Sacrifice. Is it possible maybe he has a bottomless set and he wants the tribute summon? Well, Carrier's effect will activate and it'll go back to his extra deck. Correction, he has four Cliff Fort monsters in his hand. He's going to try to OTK here, but there's a... Oh, man. This guy's drawing bad. He needed, he needed that scout back. I mean, it's not going to resolve, but. Is he salty? You know what he's playing, right? Sissy card, burning. Sissy card, Shadal Lightsword. Shadal Lightsword? Oh, interesting. Go to Felice, bro. I feel like Rossi's got to have some kind of answer down. I mean, he's only got four backers. I've seen he plays Mirror Force. All sorts of MSTs, very okay, things play like Force. that today. That's the reason why he would not attack. I don't know if Guillermo knows that's that. The, I guess that's, yeah, that's the reason he would not attack. Oh, wow. Change it. Takes 24. Are we saying why Rusty? Or Rusty? Why Rusty would not attack? I don't think Guillermo had any back row set. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like he would have to attack him to get over his 1800 monster instead of crashing. Okay. No, I'm saying Rusty has mirror force. Ooh, that's such a good card. Oh, he's coming in. I assume this is end phase. Yes. yes. Wow. <laughs> so it's twenty four hundred attack, he's unaffected by rank fours. So what else he can do? These makes uh, Deltaros? Looks like it. 2,500 pops his back row. Or that's a Triver. Bounce all cards on the field. Chain Book of Moon. Oh, and then it can make Diamond. But you can, only, can you only make Diamond in Memphis too? I don't know. But it bounces his back row, the, yeah. the, cha the yeah. trap, so it's pretty good. And we'll he has a normal summon. He doesn't have anything to bring back, at least right now. Book was interesting. He still has a normal summon for his turn. Yeah, Which exactly. is pretty important. Did you see what he got off uh, Deneb? Uh, probably Altair or Vega. One of those two for sure. Yeah, Rhoda. Doesn't matter. He can get whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. He's going to set all his back row. Looks like he's going to just turn. <laughs> Don't put that in the graveyard, Frosty. <laughs> it goes to you your head. just got it. Resetting his back row. Wonder what Scott has read as a possible mirror force. I wonder what Triver's defense is. 2,500. Yeah, I think it's big because they always bug. bring it out in defense. Yeah. It's a big booty. 
<laughs> it's probably the opposite of Deltros attack and defense. That would make sense. They try to do things like that. Yeah, they do. Is this scout going to resolve? Looks like it is. Rossi's nodding his head. He's going to be like, oh crap, I wanted to use that. Too late. So probably the spell. Looks like he has a lot of monsters and a disc. He's going to clip the guy and then summon disc. At least if I'm looking at his hand correctly. All right, we got Rosty talking a lot again. Vintage Rosty. What did he grab? Oh, a monster to go with his other seven. So it looks like Pendulum is going to be the play. So he's got. Oasis, so here comes the pendulum. pendulum. Rossi's like, this is fine. I think I'm about to mirror force you if my Pegasus yeah. golden eye is in there. Right that now. ready hand over there, it looks like. You think so? You see it? Yeah, that, that, that's that's the ready He looks hand. so comfortable. Oh, but he can stealth. He searched stealth. I mean, stealth wouldn't affect mirror force, would it? I mean, he could bounce it. Yeah, that's... Ooh! That's oh fucking <laughs> oops oh that That's hurt game. <laughs> oh uh, well what what what's the old Mike Tyson saying everybody's got a plan oh. till they get punched in the face well that warning <laughs> that was the uh, that was the punch ah, oh there it both. is there's the mirror force and oh, there's the uh, there's the uppercut <laughs> to the jaw man those pendulum that monsters don't so even go nasty. to the extra I wish y'all could see me I just like shot back in my chair those that was monsters awesome. don't even go to the extra that warning was in, in my in my head I was like man warning would be so nasty but I was like there's no way he has warning that would just be too good. Might as well get that card out of his hand. <laughs> oh, what was I saying about that ready hand? Oh, my God. <laughs> he had two ready hands. <laughs> oh, man. What a savage. 12. I don't know Puts why him at 24. don't know why this guy's still playing. He's like, I got a pendulum. Man. I can do this. I can do this. I got no. If cards anybody in the chat can think of a card he can draw in the game, period, I would love to know it. I mean, like Regeki is probably the best bet at this point. Yeah, but what does that even get you? Have you ever heard of a card called Scoop City? No, I have not. Okay, then I guess that's just a commentary. Okay. <laughs> That card does not exist in my world. Wait, is that a real card? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> can I make it? You can if you card? want. This guy about to draw it and do it. I'll just draw this guy's you picture draw, on When it. you draw this card, you scoop. You cannot win. I'll just draw his picture on it. And make yep. sure make sure to uh, have Mike Tyson <laughs> sending a punch his way on that image. This is crazy, man. Oh, well, why not? I'll give you a thousand. You deserve it, man. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, bring back that Kage to Kage. <laughs> God, this is disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, leave him with nothing. Oh, my God. Wow. This guy is just like, I can do this. Like, look at him. He lost. Rusty's such a Part savage. of the cards. No, 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 no. He, he's... We might see a world record pace for draw scoop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Here we are. We've seen it all day, <laughs> and we're <laughs> actually. You know what? That is the best card he could draw. Absolutely, the best <coughs> card. Period. He could draw. It's better Correct. than Change of Heart. It's better than all those cards. Rush is like, what can you draw? I mean, you lost. Yeah. Bang. <laughs> That's so funny.